air pollution is about having particles and gases which are not part of the natural constitution of the air and uh, typically something that would uh, cause uh, harm to human beings and upset the general uh, ecosystem. Air pollution is one of the most critical public health issues of the century, not just here uh, in India but globally. But for India in particular, it is a very critical problem given that India is now known as the air pollution capital of the world. 15 of the 20 most polluted cities in the world are in India. The moment the level goes up, the number of patients sitting outside my OPD increases. It's so proportionately that you'll be shocked level of awareness is slowly increasing due to media. They are from time to time highlighting this issue and not only that people are feeling the crunch due to air pollution, health issues are there and people are getting aware. Uh, of course in urban area awareness level is more, in rural area still awareness level is very low but slowly people are understanding that this is an issue that has to be resolved. The Center for Chronic Disease Control comprises a range of scientists and academics, not just physicians, but also social scientists, nutritionists, uh, biochemists, statisticians, and a range of domain experts who can come together to address the issue of air pollution from a very academic point of view. We are also uh, working on a range of research projects to document and grow the evidence base on the health impacts of air pollution. When the patient is sick, it's bound to listen to the physician what he is talking. And that is the time when the impact is also maximum. So we need to communicate to the patient about the preventive aspects. Quite often, uh, raising awareness uh, would, would largely come from uh, showing evidence that they believe and that they understand. The Climate and Health Air Monitoring Program, CHAMP as we call it, aims to address the gaps in knowledge of the health sector in addressing the issue of air pollution. Central to this initiative is the visual display of air quality information in the hospital waiting rooms. The Information on Air Quality Index helps doctors, nurses and other healthcare professionals in the healthcare facilities to become in immediately aware of the air quality in their region. Along with this air quality information, we are also beaming on the television visuals that help to understand the health effects of air pollution on a variety of populations. CHAM program aims to sensitize the people who are visiting our healthcare facilities. Oftentimes, we have people watching televisions in the waiting rooms of the hospitals. This program aims to leverage that potential for a mass sensitization on the issue of air quality. The doctors are the really important stakeholder because they see the end point. Whatever you do in hospital has a deeper impact. Doctors, the scientists, they can be a good stakeholders for any of the awareness program. The hospitals become conduit where all people will come at some point of time or the other. Not so the doctors who are in the hospitals can use this opportunity to generally uh, raise awareness. It's important to equip the health professionals to become aware of the issue but also to become more prepared to deal with this growing disease. Keep on talking, advertise, uh, let people know, show them the reality. See, by the time they come to us in healthcare, it's too late. Given that India has a very diverse health system, we are currently leveraging the private health system. We hope to touch the entire health system in India. The public hospitals include a range of hospitals, from the state government systems to district hospitals, the community health centers, and down to the primary health centers. We hope to escalate this program in the coming months. I always believe that in solving environmental issue, awareness is the key and community participation is a very important factor. And programs like JAM, it is a very good initiative. In this area, what is the real air quality index and that is being displayed in our OPD. So once it is visible, anybody who is made aware that such a thing is there as he is walking past, he will know once he is going and sitting in the OPD. Kids are more vulnerable 
because of two reasons they breathe very fast so they inhale more of the pollutants they are of a lower height and the pollutants are maximum near the surface again the density of pollutants that they inhale in that air is much higher as compared to an adult champ is a very good program which uh, is running in our hospital as well which needs to be promoted to the other hospitals where the patients where the attendants they are in a good number so this will definitely enhance the awareness related to the air pollution we have a monitor which shows uh, what is the uh, air quality uh, index this program which gives the metric uh, makes this whole air quality issue a lot more real no because now we are able to measure it and then uh, displaying it in public also uh, spreads the ownership of this uh, issue you know, into the community so that conversation starts what is not monitored cannot be controlled a very simple statement which all health all the persons working in quality of health care they are aware about it so first thing we are doing is we are monitoring and second we are making them aware so these two things will lead to further actions by the concerned persons all the uh, informations all the advices given by the health professionals will have a good impact on the patients and this will definitely resolve the issues at uh, ground level and uh, mostly i see that the champ program which is uh, running it is definitely going to bring a lot of you know information to the health professionals as well as the patients even the attendants and the local languages which is being used by the entire team working behind that so that is also a good part that the people will be aware at their local level the health and environment leadership platform it's a network of hospitals and healthcare providers that are distributed across the length and breadth of the country today the program has about 77 members which includes individual hospitals as well as associations of hospitals and healthcare providers we are leveraging this platform of healthcare professionals to become environmental health advocates and lead the campaign for awareness around environmental health issues the geographical reach therefore can be as far and wide as this network that we have today currently we have uh, about 40 plus hospitals that have committed to adopting this uh, initiative and have agreed to uh, visually display this air quality information and the uh, uh, communication materials that we have developed not just in hindi and english but in eight different regional languages so the geographical reach can has a potential to grow and uh, is dependent on hospitals who are willing to join us on this uh, initiative